Chapter 2, Mishnah 5. Figs are sometimes smeared with oil in order to speed up their ripening. The Mishnah discusses whether this may be done before or after Shemitah. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. We may smear oil on unripe figs of the sixth year so that they should ripen more quickly. And we may make small holes in them and fill the holes with oil, which also helps them ripen more quickly, until Rosh Hashanah of the seventh year. However, unripe figs of the year before Shemitah that enter Shemitah, that is, they started growing in the sixth year, but will not ripen until the seventh year, and unripe figs of Shemitah that have not yet ripened when the year after Shemitah arrives, that is, they started growing during the seventh year, but will not ripen until the eighth year, do not have that leniency. And we may not smear oil on them, or make holes in them and fill them with oil, even before or after Shemitah. Atana argues that whether it is permissible to treat the figs with oil depends on where the figs are growing. Rebbe Yehuda says, in a place where they normally smear figs with oil, they may not smear them with oil before Shemitah, if they will not ripen until Shemitah, because it is work that is normally done when growing figs. But in a place where they do not normally smear figs with oil, they may smear them with oil during the sixth year, even if the figs will not ripen until Shemitah begins, since such work is normally done when growing figs. Another Tana discusses whether other work on a tree is permitted during the year after Shemitah. Rabbi Shimon permits working on a tree during the year after Shemitah, even if it st is still full of figs that, grow, that grew during Shemitah, because one is allowed to work on trees once Shemitah is finished, even though the figs grew during Shemitah.